Welcome to the Santa Cruz Public Library's super quick tutorial on whitelisting email messages in Yahoo. Now, I think the process for Yahoo and Gmail are really very similar because you, you may have to go the extra mile and set up a, a filter to be sure that library messages are going to your inbox rather than to spam or some other location. Now usually just adding the address that the library sends you notices from is enough. But with Gmail and some, it looks like sometimes Yahoo, you really do have to go the extra mile and set up the filter. So here we're looking at the inbox and right here I've got this message from webmaster at SCPL. Now, you, if you do have a message from uh, notices at Santa Cruz at SantaCruzPL.org or no reply at SantaCruzPL.org, you can use that message, or you can use a message that's sent to you from Webmaster or eLibrary or one of the library email accounts. So now I've opened the email, and. Uh, this one doesn't have any, any text in the message because I'm just using it. So I'm going to go over here to more actions for this, for this conversation and select filter emails like this. So I'm going to change the name to library. And here if the sender contains, I'm going to leave that because I do want it to say if the sender contains. And instead of limiting it to just the webmaster email address, I'm going to add an asterisk in front of at santacruzpl.org. That asterisk is a wild card, and that means that all email from anybody in the domain, santacruzpl.org, will be will be filtered in this way. So if these things are true, then move the message to the inbox and click on Save. And that should do it.